So far, we've been building all our tools from scratch. Weather tools, location tools, search tools. We code them, we maintain them, we deploy them. But what if you could connect to tools that someone else has already built and deployed? Tools for accessing databases, sending emails, managing calendars, or controlling smart home devices. That's where Model Context Protocol comes in. MCP, or Model Context Protocol, is an open standard that lets AI applications connect to external tools and data sources. Think of it like an app store for AI tools. Instead of building everything yourself, you can connect to MCP servers that provide ready-made tools. These servers can be running anywhere, on your local machine, in your company's infrastructure, or in the cloud. The AI SDK makes it incredibly easy to connect to these MCP servers and use their tools just like the ones we've built ourselves. Now, MCP is a pretty vast topic that deserves its own course. There is so much you can do with it. But for this lesson, we will focus on the essentials, connecting to MCP servers and accessing their tools using the AI SDK. We'll see how MCP tools work seamlessly alongside the tools we've already built. Let's dive in and add MCP tools to our chat interface. For this lesson, we will build on top of our existing tools implementation. In the API folder, create a new folder called mcp-tools. Copy the route handler from the tools folder and paste it into this new folder. Similarly, in the UI folder, create a new folder called mcp-tools and copy the page.tsx file from the tools folder into this new folder. Update the component name to MCP tools chat page. Update the API endpoint to slash API slash MCP hyphen tools. And don't forget to update the chat message import slash API slash MCP hyphen tools slash route. Perfect. Let's test this out at localhost 3000 slash UI slash MCP hyphen tools. Ask the question, what's the weather? in Gotham City, and it works with our existing weather tool. We've defined that in route.ts. Now let's add MCP tools to the mix. For this lesson, we will use mockmcp.com, which is an easy way to create an MCP server that we can test against. So head over to mockmcp.com and create a free account. It just takes a minute. Once you're logged in, you can create your first server. So let's click on create your first server button. And let's fill in the necessary details for the server name, demo MCP server, with a description, testing MCP tools with AI SDK. Next, we will add a tool to our server. For this demo, let's create a stock price tool. The tool name is going to be get stock price. The description, get current stock price for a company. The input parameter, We'll call this symbol, type string, and the description, stock ticker symbol, and we can provide examples. So example, Apple or Google. For the output configuration, we will keep it simple with hard-coded data. The response is going to be a JSON with two values, price, $142.5, and change, plus 2.3%. I'm hard coding a static response to demo that we can call an MCP tool. In a real MCP server, this would fetch actual stock data. Once you've filled in all the details, go ahead and click Create Server. And there you go. You now have an MCP server with a Get Stock Price tool up and running. Now, Mock MCP will give you two important things a server URL and an auth token. Copy both these values because we will need them in our route handler. So for our next step, let's update our route handler to connect to the MCP server. First, we need to install the MCP SDK. In your terminal, run the command npm install at model context protocol slash SDK. Next, we make some imports. From the AI package, we will import experimental create MCP client as create MCP client, and then we will import streamable HTTP client transport from model context protocol slash SDK slash client streamable HTTP.js. 
MCP support in the AI SDK is still experimental, but it works great. Once you've made the imports, inside the post function, before we call stream text, let's connect to our MCP server. So const HTTP transport is equal to new streamable HTTP client transport. The first argument is the URL, which you can copy from mock MCP server, paste it. And the second argument is our options. We have request init, headers, authorization, and we specify the bearer token. Copy and paste it. Make sure to specify bearer. Please make sure both these values are from your mock MCP server. For the next step, create the MCP client. So const MCP client is equal to await create MCP client. We pass in an object where we specify transport and that is set to HTTP transport we have just defined above. And now we can get all the tools from the MCP server. So const MCP tools is equal to await and client dot tools. This fetches all available tools from the MCP server. In our case, it's just the get stock price tool, but an MCP server could have dozens of tools. Next, we need to combine our MCP tools with our existing weather tool. So update the stream text call. Tools is going to be set to an object where we destructure MCP tools and then our own tools. We're using the spread operator to merge our local tools with the MCP tools. The AI now has access to both. But wait, there's one more important thing. We need to close the MCP client when we are done. In the stream text argument, after stop when, we specify on finish. This is a callback and we await MCP client dot close. We'll also add the on error callback, which is an async function. Get access to the error, we await MCP client dot close here as well, and also log the error to the console. Error during streaming and we log the error. This code right here ensures we properly close the connection to the MCP server when the stream finishes or if there is an error. It is super important to clean up resources. Our route handler is ready. For our next step, let's update the UI to handle our new stock price tool. So in the page.tsx file, in the switch statement, where we handle message parts, we already have tool get weather. But here's the thing. MCP tools come through with dynamic names and are not strongly typed. So after the weather tool case, we will add a case for dynamic tool. Case, dynamic tool, and you can see TypeScript helping us out. For case dynamic tool, we will pretty much repeat the switch statement for handling the different states in the UI. Since we've been through this multiple times already, I will paste the snippet and walk you through the code. You can see we are handling the four states of the tool call. Input streaming, where we render repairing stock price request. Input available, where we render fetching stock price. Output available, stock price retrieved. And output error, failed to fetch stock price. The JSX here specifically corresponds to the get stock price tool. But if your MCP server has different tools, you will want to be more generic. All right, time to see this in action. Save the file, navigate to slash UI slash MCB tools. And first, let's make sure our existing tool still works. Ask the question, what's the weather in Gotham City? Submit, and perfect, the weather tool still works. 70 Fahrenheit and cloudy. Now for the exciting part. Ask, what's the stock price of Apple? Submit. And you'll see the MCP tool call UI and the response. Stock price retrieved. Apple is trading at $142.5, change plus 2.3%. This will be the same result for any stock price symbol you ask for because we are hard coding the tool response. But hopefully, you can see the pattern here. We're able to connect to an MCP server and make a dynamic tool call. The beauty is that your code doesn't change. You just connect to different MCP servers even multiple, and suddenly your AI has all these new capabilities. 
we have successfully integrated MCP tools into our chat application. Let me quickly summarize what we've learned. MCP, or Model Context Protocol, is an open standard that lets you connect to external tool servers. Instead of building every tool yourself, you can connect to MCP servers that provide ready-made tools for various tasks. We started with our existing tools implementation and added MCP support. Using mockmcp.com, we created a simple server with a stock price tool. And in the route handler, we connected to the MCP server using the streamable HTTP client transport, fetched its tools, and merged them with our existing tools. In the UI, we added a switch case for dynamic tools that can display any tool that comes from an MCP server. The AI can seamlessly use both our local tools and MCP tools to answer questions.